successful stuntmen and stuntwomen share some very important character qualities. The work we do can be a lot of fun. It's never a game. Miss a cue. You're just one split second off in your timing. And you can get yourself or someone else killed. what it takes. Leave your application on the chair. And I hope to see you all Monday morning. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I've known John for 20 years, going back to when we were growing up together in L.A. Hi. We've been through some great times together, and we've been through some bad. I guess that's the way it is with good friends. Yeah, 20 good years. But it wasn't until last summer that I joined John's class. Maybe it was because I was tired of working as a grease monkey. Or maybe I just wanted to try something new. Hello? Hello? Sound like a jealous girlfriend. You're late again. You still going with us to the desert tomorrow? I was thinking about it. Worried about Darlene? I'd prefer if she didn't come. Well, I was going to take Claudia. She's got a hot-looking girlfriend. You interested? No, thanks. I remember the last dog you fixed me up with. It's not my fault you're too fussy. Here comes Chip and Pat. Something new and something old. Like looking for kicks. Yeah, a party, a little excitement. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> Come on, John, it won't be a party without you. That's right. As a matter of fact, if you're not going, I'm not going either. Yeah. Me neither. That's Me right. Neither. Yeah, so take that bow away. Yeah, take it. Let's go. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah! All right! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That'll be 10 bucks for your share of the beer. Yeah. You want it now or later? Yeah. 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 A little excitement. That's what we were looking for, all right. Trouble was, we didn't know the kind of games they played up in Vasquez Rocks. Come on, come on. Rick, come on. Come on.
bit of help these days. Excuse me. Well? Everything's been taken care of. We'll have the new shipment on the plane by tomorrow. Good, it's about time. Darlene. They'd also had some good times. Lately, they'd mostly been having some bad. John never got involved with any of his students before, but he couldn't help himself with Darlene. You stay pretty much to yourself, don't you? Pretty much. Darlene was usually moody and quiet. Then out of nowhere, she'd fly off the handle. No matter what, I have to admit, she was beautiful. With a style all of her own. Gutsy too. No, I'll double that. I'll double that. Fact is, the class, they all had style. It was a damn good group. Yeah. That flashy piece of desert junk parked in front of my shop, yours? You want a sandwich? I do like a new set of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to First, there was Chip, the class clown. He was a real party animal. A little bit of a show off, but we didn't care. Hey, guys. He was the kind of guy you just had to like. <laughs> Pat was the fastest with a gun. I don't know if he's pink. <laughs> Pat and Bob. They were pals like me and John. Solid. You could count on them when the going got rough. Samir, he was the original wild and crazy guy. We called him our mascot. He'd been called a lot worse. DJ and Diane. They were part of the team. Fun, sexy, and wild, you know? Like co-ed sisters. Diane, she could do wheelies like nobody's business. What a smile. Claudia was my girl. Still is, thank God. You okay? She was crazy about her horse. I used to get jealous. Still do. Yeah, a damn good bunch. Boy, I sure do miss them. You know, I thought John was kidding me with this lake being out here. There was a lake like this out in the middle of the desert. I had to double John doing this love scene for him with this big chested woman. <laughs> okay, take that off. You lose. That's it. Take that off. I'm not taking off any more clothes. Well, why not? Because you cheated. What do you mean cheated? You saw the three things. He couldn't have because I had two of them myself. That's right, and I discarded one. Well, we can explain that. We can explain that. Yeah, can we explain that. Explain jokers that. are wild and, and one-eyed queens. No, no, threes and nines are wild and fours, we got an extra card, remember? Gives yeah. us a lot more cards. There are five queens, probably. Right, so we can discard that man. You lose. Yeah, take something else I, off. I think we should just throw him in the lake. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you scratch my back right there. 
Yeah, okay. Come on. So what's the scoop with John and Darling? Oh, they were an item a while back. Past tense? Yeah, he was kind of already tied up with uh, some dog I lined him up with. <laughs> also past tense. special about her? Nothing. I don't want to make excuses. It happened, that's all. It's okay, I understand. John, do we still have a chance? Come on, guys, hurry up. We have a long way to go. Now, come on, hurry up. Get in the truck. Come on, move it in. We spent the night down by the lake, and then the next morning we hit the road. We were just going away for the weekend to unwind, share a few brewskis, and have a few laughs. Hey, John, pull over to Alice's, will you, for a beer? We're meeting TJ and Samir there. They're bringing their chief. We had a good day for it, too. The sun was shining. The sky was as pretty as a postcard. How could we know we were on a collision course? Couple more jobs like this, and we won't have to work anymore. We have an eight-hour drive back. Come on, let's get something to eat.
here. Samir, are you all right? You want to dance? Who's going to pay for this? I will. No big deal. We had them before. So we just kept right on going. Still looking for more excitement. Vasquez rocks some swinging times. Here we come. Mayor, let's take the back way. The what? You know the back way we used to take as kids? Well, the one we used to sneak into. So what's going on? Can you ride back and tell the others when they get that flat tire changed to come around the back way? There's a trail that'll lead them right into the park. Okay, sure. Thanks. Just check the place out. See why they close the skates. Yeah, we kept right on going. Straight into hell. Uh, guys, see anybody? Nope. Well, I tell you, it sure doesn't look closed to me, just empty. Who cares? All they can do is kick us out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going for a dip. Yeah! yeah! We got company. Who? The Hollywood jocks we had to fight with. All of them? Yeah, all of them. What do you want me to do with them? Just keep an eye on him for now. Anything you say. Give me my top! Give it back! 
Looks like they went out for a cigarette and never came back. Looks like somebody's back. What do you mean? Double door at the barn. Let's go find out who it is. Step in your dead. Bill, is that you? Mary, is that you? I'll be damned. Yeah, it's me. And John, I haven't seen you two since you were little pups. What are you hiding in here for, Bill? From those smart-ass know-it-alls. They keep trying to get rid of me, but I'm too smart for them. They sold the place, Mary. They sold it to who? Some chemical company. You can't see them, but they're here. They're up to no good, I tell you. The whole damn bunch of them. Come on, I want you to meet some crazy friends of mine. Are you still as good at telling them old ghost stories as you used to be? Well, I'm a little out of practice. But I may be able to drum up a story or two. Well, old Engine Joe wasn't about the whole stuff for that. No, sir. He picked up his knife and threw it at the gambler, and whack! He cut his ear off clean as a whistle. And would you believe that man calmly bent down, picked his ear up off the floor, and stuck it in his pocket? Blood and all. You mean he didn't do anything? Hell no. He was too smart to deal with a crazy engine like old Joe. You got to be careful of those engines. They'd just soon cut your throat in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. Samir, it's only make-believe. You mean the whole thing was made up? <laughs> hey, where are you going? To the ladies' room, Samir. Well, it's changed a little bit over the years. I used to tell that one every summer to the kids when they'd come up. Wait, maybe I should go with you. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll be just fine. That was one of their favorite stories. They used to love to hear me tell stories. Everyone except John here. He was kind of a loner. Still is, looks like. Diane, would you hurry up? It's cold out here. Hey, get it out of here. Is it? Look, your people seem to have nothing but problems. I don't like problems. Get rid of them. I'll get the car. Where are the goods, guys? Samir, stop worrying, will you? You'd think you were their mother. 
What happened? You die in there? Diane, are you okay? company want with a place like this you got me all i know is they use a mighty lot of big trucks with plenty of men and a lot of guns to protect whatever it is they're hauling what kind of gun all kinds of them well looks like you two got a little too nosy now didn't you dj diane are you there like it did before they closed down that old underground army base. You remember the one you used to climb down when you and John were kids? Used to get in trouble all the time, too. Bill, are you sure about the guns? Sure, I'm sure. So the next guard change. The next guard change, but we don't even get a coffee break? For a thousand dollars a day, you don't ask questions or complain. What are you going to do with them? How many did you say there were? Eight. Besides these two and the old miner. I thought I told you to get rid of that old miner. I haven't been able to find him up till now. But I could take care of the whole bunch if you want me to. No. Not until we find out more about what they are doing here. Well, what do you want me to do with them? Take them to one of the back rooms and question them. Anything you say. Come on, girls. We're going to have a little talk. I don't like him. He's a little crazy, but useful for now. Have you called the head office? I wasn't going to, but I'll have to know. When you do, tell them the new shipment is ready. The best yet. Ought to bring a hundred million on the street. Hi, Ed. DJ. Samir. Go 
get the rest of the boys and tell them to bring the weapons. And see what else I can find here. What the hell are you calling me here for at this hour, huh? Well, how the hell did they get in? You better. I'm getting pretty tired of these calls. Is there something the matter? No, no. Go on, go on back to sleep. You two don't want to give me the information on what? I'll arrange a little trip for you. Compliments of our establishment. Hell have you been? Yeah, same tunnel again. About a minute ago. Sparks, <laughs> 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 me. <laughs> what? Wolfgang wants you to come to his office. screaming how far is the armory from here half a mile or so we got to get the cops since the washout last spring the only way out of here is the way we came in to travel at night it's got to be at least 10 hours one way what about canyon city the only way there is on horseback it's good three or four hours Claudia Take your horse and go get the sheriff. What have you got in mind, John? I'm going after the girls. Okay, then. Let's take the secret passageway. No, wait! I think they saw me. Besides, I know a shortcut. Darlene, you stay here. You're not leaving me in the background again. Suit yourself. John, what about the old man, Bill? We'll pick him up on the way. Did you find out who they are? They're a stunt team from Hollywood. Their leader is their coach, a guy named John Davidian. Tell security to keep me informed, all right? Okay. Bye. Wake up, Stan, and get on it. Now. you know the way out of here? Yeah, just go down to the double-headed cactuses and then continue due west. Be careful. You're sure this stuff's gonna work? It's good, all right. Tell me exactly what you're gonna do. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes. I'm gonna make a noise like World War II. Pat, let's move in. Come on. Wait till I get their attention. Hey! Anybody got a match?
find your weapons. What are you guys doing here? Ah. That's it. That's it. Good. Hey, as soon as Bill sets off those explosives, make sure you stay out of sight. There's going to be a lot going on out here. How long do you want us to wait? Look, if we ain't out ten minutes after the fireworks, we ain't coming, okay? Just uh, looking for some uh, boxes to take them to Jake. You know the, the boxes over there? I was gonna take them. Where to now, Samir? You go down that hallway and it opens into the room with the metal gate. Okay. Chip, go check it out. We'll cover you up from this end. There's guards everywhere. What the hell are we gonna do? Is that a light? Hi. My name is Samir. What's your name? Jack. You do exactly what we say, and you won't get hurt. You understand? now, Samir. Over there. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You better do as he says. I have seen him miss before, but not this close. Come on, let's move it up. We gotta take care of those guards. Hey, we should do away with them here. You do that, one of them gets off a shot, you bring your whole army down on us. Let's bring those boxes over there with us. Come on. Glad you showed up. We've been waiting for you. Now you can drop your guns. What do you want me to do with them? Tie them up with the other. Here, take these. Matt, open the door. Place caves in. Keep those exits blocked and find that miner before he blows us all to hell. It seems our assumption has found a way in. This is where they make it, all right. Take a group of men and cover the main entrance. They're in here.
DJ, oh, you're right. Diane. Diane's dead. Drugs. Heroin would be my guess. Heroin or PCP. There's got to be a hundred boxes of that stuff out there. Sounds like old Bill's working overtime. Come on, let's get out of here. Chip, give me a hand. Chip, give me a hand. Bob, help Chip. I'm gonna leave him a little present. If they were going to make it, they would have been here by now. They're gonna make it. Let's give them five more minutes. Wait, wait! You two go this way. Chris, come with me. We got problems. There are guards everywhere. How the hell are we gonna get by all those guards? I don't know. But the Jeep's still there. Do you suppose you can hit those supply boxes down at the end of the hall? Hold it right there. Drop your weapons. Dynamite. Yeah, that's one. Why? Wolfgang! Slaney wants to talk to him. He's mad as hell. Shit. Come on. This is Wolfgang. Look, I just got a call for security. What's going on there? I'm afraid we've got another problem here. Came out another way. Where's Diane? Bastards killed her. Pat, let's go! Mm -hmm. I'll tell him. The stuntmen got away. Wolfgang went after him.
Well, what do you think? I think we're in big trouble. Hey, what are you talking about? We got past all the heavy stuff out there. A few more clowns now, we're home free. Look, I don't give a damn if most of your men are loaders and lab techs. They can shoot, can't they? Wolfgang, look. You know what's gonna happen if any of those kids get away? Yeah. Get every man we have and issue them a gun. Well, John, what do you want to do now? Let's check the bikes. Bob, right. you stand guard outside. Mary, check the place out. Look for the old man. He's not here. He must still be out there. What'd you find? Look, we still have three bikes and a jeep. And an army of guards outside, and they got all the exits blocked. All but one. Merritt, remember Soledad Pass? Mm -hmm. It's the only exit they haven't blocked, and you know why. Leads to a dead end, the rocks. Now, suppose we wait here till they think we're out of the campground. They have to sleep sooner or later. We then haul ass out of here to the rocks and hold out there until the sheriff gets here. We could hold off a small army out there. And there's plenty of fresh water out by the old stagecoach. Except for one thing, John. They're going to find us in here before morning. I've thought about that, Pat. There's nobody here. Isn't this where the old man is hiding? Yeah. Bronski, I want two men inside, two men outside. Let's get the hell out of here. There's no one coming. Jim said to stay here. We stay here.
They're getting close. They're right behind us. We can't run anymore. We gotta make a stand. Chip, take the bush. Darlene, go with Merritt. Samir, you come with me. Come on, let's go. take care of him for a while. I wouldn't count on it. Wolfgang! I just lost six of my best men. How the hell did you do that? Look, it wasn't my fault. These pricks can really shoot. Don't let them get away, you hear? Yeah, I hear you. But I'm gonna need all the men you can get me. I can't get the trucks through Soledad Pass. All right, I'll meet you just before Soledad Pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, don't let him get away. All right. Well, they found him up at Vasquez Rock. They said he has to use all his men, though. He ran up against some sharpshooters. That doesn't sound too good. No, it doesn't. I advise we take the funds and move them to our Swiss bank account. Darlene, this may not be the best time to tell you, but I want you to know something. You were never in the background. You think they'll be back? I don't know. Why don't you go help Merritt with the girls? Man, too tight? Listen, if I had a bullet for you to bite on, I'd give it to you, but I don't have any to waste, all right? Just make it tight, will you? Hey, go easy on the sockets. I'm only got one left. All right. They're back again. Let's get higher up into the rocks. said we got problems. Yeah, big problems. How many do you get? 40, maybe more. We'd be better off spreading out and catching them in a crossfire. I'm all for that, as long as I don't have to run around too much. Bob, you take that ledge below the cover pad. Samir and I'll take that bridge down there. Don't worry about me. 
I'm worried about all of us. Bob, tell Mary, we have to retreat to take the rest of them to the old mines. Come on, Smith. Okay, let's go. Cover me. You got it. How's she doing? Not so good. What are we gonna do? Well, we can't run anymore. We've got to make a stand. John told me to tell you, if things start getting out of hand, for you to guide everyone back up to the old mines. Now, let's give those bastards more than they can handle. Chip, cover me. Yeah. Here they come. Get out of this mess. We always do. You know that time down in Mexico when the Federale stopped us at the border? We held you out then. I won't let you down. I'll never let you down.
hide in that cave. There's another entrance about 100 yards down that way. Now go on. What about you? I'll wait till they get inside, then I'll set off the charge. Now go. off one by one. I'd rather take my chances with him than Cellini. anybody ride her except for me. I'm the only one that knows my way around out here. Even if you get on her, she's going to make so much noise, the guards are going to know where we are. You know she's right. All right. There's a small airport about 30 miles from here if you go over the mountains. If you're not back before dawn, I'm going to carry him out. Okay. Okay, now you're going to have to double back the way we came in here, past those two big boulders. Okay, I'm leaving now. Merritt should stay with Chip and DJ. I'll create a diversion for you. Give me five minutes and you take off like hell. You stop for nothing. Okay, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. And you take care, okay? You too. Be careful, huh? See you, Deacon. Wait for me here.
be all right. Just a scratch. What are you trying to prove, anyway? This one. Chip was shot. I had a decoy for Claudia. She went for help. Ah. Chip. Go see if you can find Wolfgang. Looks like they got Wolfgang. Let's go. the phone. Patch me through to Cellini. Now! Honey? Sweetheart? Darling! It's a man at the plan again. Now listen, Wolfgang, if you don't... This is Jim. Wolfgang's dead. I only have four men left. Are you telling me you lost 60 men to a handful of stuntmen? I guess they're better than what I had. Well, they're not better than what I have. Now look, I want you to keep those stuntmen there till morning. You got that? Wake me up before dawn. I'll take the first shift. I want you to get six of our best. Hey, mister, you gotta help me. Well, what? Uh... Yeah, he's here. It's for you. Yeah. This better be good, Wade. Now, I want you guys to keep your eyes open. I don't want any follow-ups. Now, you know what to do? Do it. I swear. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? I tried to tell you that there was something fishy going on down there for the last three months. But you wouldn't believe me. All right. Quit yapping and get on the phone. Wake up uh, Pete, Harry, Charlie, and Wade. Oh, yeah. And uh, see if you can get the CHP to get a chopper up there. Chopper? You picked a hell of a tough route to get to us. Yeah, well, I didn't have a hell of a lot of choice. Well, I guess you didn't know. Know what? 
Well, after the spring uh, washout, we built a new bridge on Canyon River. Barrett, I'm sorry for being such a drag. I think I'm gonna miss the rest of the party. I'd like to say something funny here, but I'm... I'm scared to death. No pun intended. <laughs> Look at me like that. <laughs> I'm already feeling too sorry for myself. Tell John I'm, I'm sorry I let him down. For a split second there, I, I lost my concentration. I forgot they were real bullets. Should I be? I've seen it bad before, but I've never seen it this bad. What do you owe Cellini? Got me off an armed robbery rap. What about you? I owe him nothing. I'm in this for the money. Well, then why don't you get out? You ever seen anyone walk out on Cellini? Darlene was tired and weak. John covered her to hide her while she slept. He wasn't thinking about his own sleep. He was just thinking about Pat. Seems Pat was the only one he couldn't account for. He had to find out. any faster? Goodbye, Mr. Hollywood stunt man. Make sure he's dead. Let's go. a normal morning. The sun was shining again. The sky was as pretty as a postcard. It took me a moment to realize that nothing was pretty. Bodies everywhere. I was only left to wonder whose body I would find next. John's or Darlene's.
Circle around. Get the hell out of here, okay? I'm too weak to go anywhere. This is the Canyon County Sheriff speaking. Throw down your weapons. You're surrounded. <laughs> 